Coming up this week, we got us a 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat that I'm very excited to have a chance to drive. We're going to take it around these back roads in here and cut up a little bit and see what she can do, being this is my first time with a Hellcat. So that's what we got coming up this week. I'm Jay Walker. You're watching Life Off Road right here on J-Dub Motorsports. Welcome to another episode of Life Off Road. This week's feature is a 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat wide body edition. You know, but I think back in 2019, they started putting the wide body kits on all the uh, the Dodge cars and actually looks looks pretty good. I wasn't um, a big fan of the wide bodies aftermarkets when most companies were doing them when these cars first came out. but. When Dodge brought it back around, like I said, 2019, put it on the Scat Back Challengers and now putting it on the Hellcats, they, they actually look pretty good. This one right here has the same 6.2 liter V8 that has a supercharge on it that pumps out the horsepower to around 707 horsepower, which is a lot of fun to drive. Difference between these and probably the first Hellcats that came out with the wide body is that these come with the bigger tires. These have the 305 size tires with wise i want to say these are pirelli p zeros all the way around versus the first hellcats came with 275 40 series all the way around so this one with all that much horsepower you get a lot more extra grip because you need extra grip to contain all that horsepower in this car this one i think has the uh 2.4 liter uh supercharger on it which is very massive we'll take a look at that in a second but overall this is a very nice looking car this I believe is a uh, mango orange paint job on it I love the color combination I mean this is probably one of the prettiest Hellcats I've seen I don't think I've ever seen a combo this style before with this color combination so this is actually a, a good color combination so uh, let's take a look at the engine to see what we got going on so what we have here like I said before this is the 6.2 liter V8 aluminum V8 which has this massive 2.4 liter supercharger. This is a twin screw here. And if you look at just how big this thing is, I mean, this is a massive, this thing's gotta weigh at least 100, 120 pounds, just to supercharge itself. But uh, it's tightly squeezed in here. I mean, they don't really leave you a whole lot of room in here, but you got this big air intake going to the throttle. And um, you have a few air intakes in here to help keep the engine cool because most twin screw superchargers have the tendency to uh, heat soak but the newer technology these days I mean they really hold up pretty well and I think Dodge is one of the first ones to really get that type of combination right when it comes to the uh, the superchargers this has a beautiful painted you know Hemi orange valve covers which I always like I believe all the Hemi's come with that so that's pretty cool to see um, other than that, like I said, you know, you're basically looking at a 700 horsepower Munster. And um, I actually can't wait to get it on the road to drive it. But like I said, it's definitely a, a massive engine with that supercharger on top, top of it. You know, you have your SRT badge on here, which the SRT, I believe, stands for Street Racing Technology by those guys over there at Dodge. So, uh, this is, this is a nice car, so. All right, that's all I got with that. Let's just, I'm, I'm ready to drive this thing, so let's take it out for a ride, see what she does. Off the rip, this thing, uh, this is a comfortable car. You know, Dodge have made these cars very, very roadworthy and comfortable. This is definitely a great road trip car. You know, they definitely um, have definitely put their mark on the luxury slash muscle car because technically this is really just a, a old school muscle car you know when when charges and challenges first came out specifically the charges when they first came out the charges was basically a coupe it was a two a, a two-door car you know
know, they didn't start doing the four doors until they came out with um, the newer styles. Which I want to say these came out, the charges, I want to say maybe early 2000s, maybe. And, uh, yeah. You know, they definitely, um, they definitely have, um, done very well, you know, with the comeback. I always say that Dodge definitely made a nice comeback when they came out with these cars, the Challengers and the Chargers. I've driven a Charger one time. I drove a, uh, a Daytona edition back around 2010, and it, it was okay. It definitely didn't feel like this. Even the ride didn't feel like this, because this car is just, it's just way smoother. I mean, this right here is just, it's definitely a, a smoother ride. And you normally don't get that out of Dodges, but um, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Brakes feel nice. A little, little get up. Woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's instant, folks. It's definitely instant. This thing is very smooth, very smooth. It definitely rides similar to the uh, to the Challenger. You know that Challenger I did the Scatback Edition. My friend Vic's uh, Scatback Challenger. Yeah, that was a very fun, smooth ride. And the difference between this car and Vic's car is that Vic's car was just a naturally aspirated motor. It didn't have the supercharger like this one does. You know, the supercharger just brings this one to just a whole, a whole nother level. I mean, this is actually, from what I've heard, it's actually a 200 mile an hour car that they've said. So, um, and I believe every bit that it would do all of it, every bit of it. So, uh, it's actually nice. Like I said, this would be a great road trip car. Interior is very nice. It feels a little bit different than the uh, the Challenger. I think these have the more bolster seats in here. These are more like your, I want to say, kind of captain's chairs as far as the seat wise. But you know, it's very good interior. You got your nice leather. You got your nice stitching. You got your SRT badge and brought in the seats, which I like, which is very nice. Dashboard. It kind of looks very similar to the um, to the uh, Challenger. You know, as far as the gauges and the, I believe this is an 8.4 inch touchscreen. That's very nice. But um, this is not bad, man. You see that big Ram Air hood scoop up front with the two heat extractors to let all that excess of heat out. So they definitely done their thing when it came to the aerodynamics of this thing. They really. Uh, they really dot their eyes and cross the T's with this thing. But yeah, like I said, you know, this thing here is definitely, um, it's definitely, uh, Dodge has definitely found the way to, to make this thing dance. I mean, If you want to, like, you know, on you can, but you know, why would we do that? I'm just going to win that. Man, this thing is strong. It's very strong, very strong. So for this car to be from the factory built like this, I mean that's 
that's that's just very impressive. I mean, Dodge really hit out the ballpark when they did that. I mean, it's a little, little wheel spin there, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm leaving all the tra traction and stability track all that on. You know, we just uh. We're not going to be doing any burnouts today, but, you know, we're just going to keep it, keep it simple. Not a Sunday driver. Very quick. <laughs> I mean, this this thing is quick, man. I mean, it's definitely a. Uh, you have to learn how to tame this car. I can imagine taking this thing on a on a drag strip, but. Cause I want to say quarter mile. This thing is probably running. Uh, this this has to be a 10 second car, easy. 10 second, I would guess, just off the rip. Maybe high tens, maybe 140 miles an hour. I mean, that's just that's just me guessing. But this it's definitely, uh, I think it's a strong a strong car for sure. This Sport Plus mode, not Sport Plus, I'm thinking about the Benz. This Sport mode is, uh, <laughs> yeah. It felt like Vic's car, so you just feel the car just kind of change. But who's counting with 707 horsepower, you know? You really couldn't ask for nothing else. Dodge has really made these cars here to stay, man. They really, they really have taken over the muscle car world as a because it's it's so many of them. But you have that 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 because they're the thing is because they're not coupe cars. They're just you know sedans, damn near. But they're sedans with just a a boatload of power that you don't you don't find every day. You know this is probably in the class with the. You know, the BMWs or whatnot, you know, the M3s, M4s, and I'm sorry, maybe the 550s and better, you know, this car run with it, but, I mean, because like I said, we, even with the Challengers, you know, the Challengers are a bigger car than the Camaros or the Mustang, they just are, you know, big heavier car, and I believe this car weighs roughly around 4,500 pounds, but with 707 horsepower, you really, you know, you know, it, it, it doesn't feel like it, it weighs that much, you know, to be honest with you. Zero to 60, this car is probably around three, four, maybe, somewhere around that range, which is, uh, <laughs> it's definitely impressive. Let's try the track mode. Let's put it in track and see what we got. This car does have the line lock and launch control in here, so if you definitely want to take it to the racetrack and, and play with it, you could.
just a massive supercharger on this thing. And of course, when you have to have all this horsepower, you gotta have good brakes. And just like, you know, the Chevys and Fords and everybody else, a lot of these companies, manufacturers go with the Brembo packages. And as you see, this car does come with the six piston Brembo brake calipers and four pistons in the rear. And they stop on a dime as, you know, what, what do you expect? But you have to have that type of braking power to be able to of this caliper. You just have to have it. Yeah. Just, just a lot of power. Man, I could I could drive this thing all day. <laughs> I really could, man. I really could. This thing is a beast. This is a beast. <laughs> well, that is it for this week. Uh, I want to thank my good friend Daryl for letting me uh, drive this beast. This thing is a lot of fun, man. It was definitely all that. I expected and then some so uh also i also want to give a special shout out to uh my youtube subscribers my latest newest subscribers i really appreciate you guys following me we're up to uh, 200 su subscribers now and counting so i really appreciate you guys taking the time out to uh out of your luck lovely day to just have some time just to watch my videos and another big shout out to my friends over in the uk i noticed uh Got a couple of followers out there in the UK and the Singapore area. So uh, until then, we'll see you guys next week.